Theresa May admitted Brexit could be delayed in exceptional circumstances today as she completed a humiliating U-turn on her flagship Brexit laws. The Prime Minister acknowledged the date of the UK's departure could be changed as she caved in to avoid an embarrassing second defeat in the common tonight. But she insisted that any delay beyond March 29, 2019 would be for the shortest possible time. The embarrassing climb down at PMQs came after the government finally accepted a series of compromise amendments that watered down Mrs May's plan to ride exit a onto the EU withdrawal bill. The Premier announced the plan to ban her from Brexit tears in the autumn, but it was condemned by critics who claim it adds pressure to the negotiation. Tory rebels who defeated the government on an amendment to the legislation last week had promised to repeat the revolt if ministers did not back down. The capitulation was completed today as Brexit Minister Steve Baker signed a series of amendments that will allow the exit day to be changed. Remain supporting MPs say this renders the government version an empty gesture, ending their revolt. Shortly afterwards, Mrs May was challenged on the issue at PMQs and the Commons. We are talking, if it were the case this would be used it would only be in exceptional circumstances and for the shortest possible time, she said. I am clear we're leaving the EU on 29 March 2019. Tory Grandi Oliver Letwin tabled the compromise amendments last week and said earlier he expected the government to fall in line. He told The Telegraph, as far as I can make out all will be well. All the indications I'm getting are that the government is likely to accept it. The eighth and final day of the Marathon Committee debate on the EU withdrawal bill will begin around 1 p.m. this afternoon. The votes will begin at around 9 p.m. and are expected to run late into the night, but today's climb down removes most risk of defeat for the government. When the new amendments were tabled last week, Tory rebel ringleader Dominic Grieve told the BBC the revisions would leave him fairly satisfied. Signaling the end of the revolt for now, he added, the government has, I think, this afternoon tabled a further amendment for next Wednesday, which very sensibly looks like it will resolve the issue that was troubling some of us. If that is the case, and I am fairly confident it is, then that issue will be satisfactorily resolved. Mr Jenkin, a leading Tory Brexiteer, said, the purpose of this amendment is to avoid needless division over matters of detail when we should be supporting the PM. Mr Grieve led 10 other rebels into the lobbies alongside Labour and the SNP to rewrite the legislation to guarantee a meaningful vote on the Brexit deal. The rebellion consigned Mrs May to an embarrassing four-vote defeat, her first on Brexit and the first defeat on legislation. The defeat pile pressure on tonight's votes, set to be a marathon session of divisions to end the 64-hour committee.
The draft legislation will be back in front of MPs in January to finish its Commons passage before going through the process all over again in the Lords. Today's compromise on the timetable to exit a comes amid growing focus on the next phase of the negotiation. EU negotiator Michel Barnier today insisted the Brexit transition should last less than two years from the exit day. He said the period should be slightly shorter than Mrs May has suggested, finishing on December 31, 2020, and Britain will have to abide by all the bloc's rules. The announcement came as he fights to quell a backlash in Brussels over his attempt to force a tough stance in Brexit talks. Mr Barnier has been accused of overstepping his powers by laying down a series of red lines before they have been signed off by the bloc's leaders. In spite of his sabre-rattling, the EU is seemingly preparing to back down on demands for the UK to obey fishing quota rules during the transition, 